Hi everyone, my name's Kim. And I'm here with my friend. Hi, I'm Bethany. And Bethany, who is this handsome boy with us today? This is Chirp, and he came to us as a stray. He is so adorable. His name's Chirp. Well, we named him Chirp. Because he meows all cute and stuff? He's pretty cute. Oh my gosh. So you said he was a stray. Mm -hmm. What does that even mean? It's just another way of saying that uh, he went missing from his home. Oh, buddy. He went missing? Mm-hmm. Oh, I wonder why that happens. Well, it happens for a lot of reasons. So this fella is not neutered. It's very likely he was looking for a friend. Oh. But sometimes things like loud noises scare them away like fireworks and, you know, closing doors and big trucks. Okay. Um, and then sometimes it's just a thing like leaving your gate open on accident. That's always my biggest fear, is if I have someone like coming over to visit and if they leave the door slightly ajar and what the heck would happen if my cat got out, I would be so nervous. Yeah, there's a lot that can go wrong. Can you tell me more about animals like Chirp? How many animals like Chirp have been at Lollipop Farm? So last year alone, for 2020, we did uh, fif over 1,500 loss and bound reports for the entire year. 1,500? Mm-hmm. Tons of pets go missing. Holy moly, 1,500. Yeah, it's a lot. That's a lot of pets. Mm -hmm. And the hard thing is with cats, only about 2% of them ever reunited through a shelter. Wow. Yeah, but if they're microchipped, that number goes up like 20-fold. Microchipping. Yes. Awesome. Okay, so Bethany, I'm I'm really, you know, I've got cats, I've got dogs at home. What mm -hmm. can I do to make sure that my pets don't go missing? Absolutely. So we always recommend a collar uh, okay. with their name and your contact information on it. Um, if you have an indoor outdoor cat, even a collar that says like, you know, I know where I'm going, leave me alone. You know, we see it all the time. People okay. are very worried when they see animals outside. Mm -hmm. um, we recommend having your paperwork all together and handy. Um, that way, if somebody calls and says, hey, I think I found your dog, you can claim them without any problems. Okay. Um, and then of course, the microchip. The microchip is so important. Anybody with a scanner, a veterinary office, a clinic, uh, your friendly animal control officer can scan them and get them right back home to you. So does the microchip like track them all around and I can look at my phone and be like, oh, they're over at the park. Yeah, no, they don't oh. have radio signals. So it's, <laughs> it's not, not like a, GPS. It's not a GPS, although they do make GPS collars if you cool. want to spend a lot of money. Okay. Yes, but. So what does the microchip do then? <laughs> the microchip basically just has your contact information on it. It's your name and telephone number, your address, your email oh. address, the best way to contact you. Anybody that scans it calls the microchip company and they say, oh yeah, I know Kim, I'll call her. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so you said I should have a, all of my pets' important mm -hmm. medical information, adoption paperwork, and all of that together. Yes. What else should I have ready? Yes. So if you are looking to have flyers made, if you want to share it on social media, you need to make sure that you have a recent, wonderful, well-lit, well-framed picture of them. Uh -huh. um, if you have a dog that has long hair sometimes, short hair sometimes, get include a picture of them with all of their different haircuts so okay. because they look like different dogs depending on how long their hair is okay um, make sure that you have something that you know is gonna show off all of their descriptive markings so that people go oh that's definitely Kim's dog you okay. know there's no mistaking it mm hmm okay you've got me really thinking now and I'm, I'm a little anxious now like what what should I do if my pet actually goes missing like I mean they're my they're my family like I can't even Don't panic. Okay. Okay. So on our website at lollipop.org, yeah. there are there's a whole page, tips and tricks, what to do of what happens if their pet goes missing. Okay. There are a million places that you can use to spread the word. We've got our lollipop spotters. We'll do a post for you. We'll say, hey, everybody, keep an eye out for Kim's dog. Yeah, I know. And we also have this really cool texting program. Tell me more. Okay, so all you do is you're going to text lost or found to 844-573-5678, which is LPF lost. So this okay. program will send you regular automated text messages with tips and tricks, links to the forms to fill out with links to pages to search, little friendly reminders about who to call and when, um, and links to awesome videos to watch so that you can you know, make sure that you're doing everything necessary to bring your pet home. Oh, that is fantastic. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. So, Lollipop Farm, we've got a ton of animals, kind of like Chirp, that have maybe gone missing. They're mm -hmm. looking for homes. How do people look up animals 
on our website. Absolutely. So under the lost and found section of our website, you can see all of the animals that have come to us as a stray. Uh, so it shows a picture of them, uh, the location where they were found, and the date that they came into our shelter. Now, the cool thing about that is we also use a program called Finding Rover. So this is a facial recognition program for animals. So all of the animals that show up on our website okay. are also loaded into Finding Rover. And so if you're missing a pet and you put your information on their website, they go bloop, 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 and then they tell you what they think looks like your pet and where to find them. It's a facial recognition program for stray pets? Yes. That is so cool. It's super futuristic. Is there an expense or a charge to, to do oh, this? Oh, no, not at all. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, so if I need to find more information on all of what we just talked about today, mm -hmm. what, how, where should we go? You go to our website, lollipop.org slash lost and bound. Okay, great. Bethany, thank you so much. I learned such important information from you today. You're very welcome. I hope you find it useful, but don't have to use it. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And all my friends at home, thanks for joining us. And I think we need to go find Chirp so we don't have another missing pet. Yes. Let's do it. Bing! There he is! <laughs> Hooray, Yay, Chirp! Bye, everyone. Bye. Oh, bye. <laughs>